So today I want to go over the introduction on how to use this grammar book. If you have this book, this is what I'm going through in all of our videos. And right now I'm on page 15. I'm just going to read over and then we'll do the, um, I'll show you online what the kids are working on in the book. You can find it online also. Um, and it'll probably be easier for you if you don't have the book. So the clown language just as any language in the world has rules for putting words and sentences together so that the speaker can be understood. We call such set of rules the grammar of the language. In the book, we're going to go over an introduction, models, feathers, quinaui, and exercises. If you don't have the book, we will go, I'll share my screen. There's this website that Tim Wantler has put together the book online. And so this is our introduction right here. The introduction presents an overview of the grammatical points made in the section. It sets the stage for the Clallam grammar by comparing Clallam to English and often introduces special terms for talking about grammar. The introduction has important grammatical information about the Clallam language. You should study the introduction to each section very carefully. Do not skip over it. So this would be our introduction to possessive pronouns. The next will go to our models. This would be our model right here. So we went over the introduction, then we'll go over the models. The models appear after the introduction. They illustrate the basic grammatical points of each section. You should study the models carefully also and memorize them. You can hear the models spoken in the Clown Language website. Listen carefully to the recorded models and try to imitate the recording exactly. So here is your folks. So that is our model. Go down here, and these these are supposed to be feathers, but they're not there yet. Um, we're gonna change the icon for a symbol so that they're gonna be feathers, so they match the book. But this is the feathers, and. The feathers comment on the models and provide detailed explanation of the grammatical points. The feathers are the heart of these sections and should be studied very carefully also. And then we'll go down to the quin this right here is our quinaui. The quinaui section appears in a double box after the feathers and before the exercises. So they appear after the feathers and then before the exercise, the word quinaui in Klawa means talking together. So let me, oh my goodness, let me share my screen. Sorry, you have to look at my face. So this is our quinaui. Someone will be the, when you're exercising or doing the quinaui, we, someone would be the snout and then someone else would be the hotnet. And it illustrates the dialogue. This also, this website has the exercises are based on a very limited set of words after so the best thing to do would be print out your list of words that i'm going to be using often when we do our our webinars um, the reason why we use a limited vocabulary is so that we can fo focus on the grammatical points for each section. If you want to expand your vocabulary, go ahead and use the Calm Dictionary. It looks like this. So feel free to use your Calm Dictionary. And a word of advice from our linguists and our elders is that Calm is a very difficult language to learn. And it's far more complicated than English and European languages. But the difference that makes Klalem a tough language to learn rather than, say, French, is because French, share, French and English share a lot of the same words. And, and uh, when you're learning Klalem, it's a completely new language. And it's not easy. It's not going to happen overnight. And what our linguist said is the richness of the Klalam words and grammatical patterns are the result of thousands of years of development by the ancestors of our Klalam people. So remind yourself that preserving this beautiful and complex part of the Klalam heritage makes the struggle of learning it 
worth every effort. So don't give up. See you next time. Bye.